In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on the earth and under the earth. For the Lord Jesus became obedient to death, death on a cross. Therefore, Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. <coughs> Throughout this holy week, two things are constantly before us. The sacrifice of the Lord with all its cost and pain and suffering, but also the achievement of that sacrifice, the glory that, that Christ has won for us. Feeling the depth of his passion, may we also be renewed through his mercy, that we may enter into his glory. Lord Jesus, you were lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You shouldered the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You open for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Thank you. 
in your great love, O Lord. Answer my prayers for your faith. Glory to you. The icon associated with Wednesday of Holy Week in the Byzantine tradition is that of the feast at Bethany before Jesus goes to the city to celebrate the Passover. And there, two things happen, and there are two characters. One shows great love, the other betrays. The two characters are the woman who anoints Jesus with precious nard, that perfume which came all the way from the Himalayas, immensely precious, and in anointing Jesus she was preparing him for what was to come, but she was also showing her devotion, her love. The opposite we see in Judas Iscariot. Traditionally, this is known as Spy Wednesday, and the betrayer is central to our Gospel reading. Judas turns on the Lord. Why we're never really told. All we see are the effects, the impact. We see the greed. The 
collaboration with those who are hostile to Jesus. We see the price, 30 silver pieces. But above all, we see betrayal and treachery. That being said, in our Gospel, we see all the disciples protest their faithfulness. When Jesus suggests that one is going to betray me, they all say, not I, Lord, surely. However, we know that all those who made this um, appeal of loyalty, when the trial came, they were all dispersed. They all failed to live up to their boastful promises. Judas, of course, is the one who is the traitor, the one who hands Jesus over to his enemies. All the disciples, however, have their own level of failure. But it's important to note that despite their failures, their failing is not the end of the story. We should be aware, even at this stage, even as we see their presumed faithfulness which proves inf infidelity, we should know that the love and mercy of the Lord is even stronger than that. And the day of their restoration through the mercy of the Lord, is also coming. As we see the response of devotion and the response of betrayal, yes, we should commit ourselves to the path of fidelity and devotion. However, we should not be complacent. We should know that even our small infidelities are offences against the loving majesty of the Lord. But nonetheless, the Lord's purposes for us are merciful. Let us pray for God's church and for God's word. For all our brothers and sisters in Christ keeping this holy week, that despite the strangeness of our times, this may be a time of spiritual renewal. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the nations of the world. We pray for those in positions of responsibility and leadership, that they may give wise judgments and lead us through these difficult times. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious us. And we pray for those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. We pray for those affected by the COVID-19 infection. We keep in our prayers our Prime Minister, Boris Johnson. Lord, And we pray for the repose of the souls of those who have died, both those who have died recently and those whose anniversary of death occurs at this time. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious us. And we ask our Blessed Lady to pray with us and to pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Father of love and mercy, source of compassion, hear our prayers that we offer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God. 
God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that, celebrating your Son's passion and mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jews, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. spiritual communion.
The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for men. Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, to partake unceasingly of the Paschal Mysteries, and to await with longing the gifts to come, that, persevering in the sacraments of their rebirth, they may be led by Lenten works to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the last time until Advent that I'm expecting to be wearing purple at an ordinary Mass. Tomorrow begins the great Easter Triduum. The Mass of the Lord's Supper will be live-streamed at 7.30 p.m., the Solemn Liturgy of Good Friday will be at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and the Easter Vigil will begin at 8.30 on Saturday evening. Go forth, the Mass is ending. 